you have to explore uh, once i upload the source code uh, you have to explore the things uh, which are in i cover the components markup the controller and some of the javascript though i could uh, explain more other stuff like nq action and uh, uh, why uh, how we are why we are doing this console dot log if you have not come from salesforce background if you have not much idea about lightning components so uh, there could be so many stuff. Uh, so uh, as uh, this uh, entire motive of uh, this channel which I am uh, making videos for is to set a, a brief foundation, it's, uh, kind of a uh, get to hang of a things and then uh, start building apps on that. Uh, so I think uh, I have covered that, at least I have tried to. So uh, with this I will be uh, posting this videos it would be available in YouTube and in Facebook also for my friends in Facebook so that, that they could learn a few things as well and uh, this thing is it's, uh, it's you have to have some uh, knowledge of front end also if you want to dive deep into that you must know how to uh, debug apps in console.log because this entire lightning application framework is uh, JavaScript based. Now I have covered only one type of event here which is called application event but there is something called component events also when there is one component inside another component. I mean uh, this component is here account and this another uh, cases so when I do something something happens over here uh, like this. So I can also do something like uh, when I click this case this account field should change. So that would be one component event because this entire container this uh, account card is contained inside account list. So in theory I can generate one component event to reflect the account name over here. So that would be another type of event. Other than that, I have uh, covered almost all the things that are in Lightning, which are uh, how to integrate JavaScript and Apex controller, how to bind them, how to register events, how to fire events, most of the stuff. I have covered CSS also to a great extent. Uh, this is suppose uh, this card is there, I want to change the, suppose uh, let's make some change over here. We have something called border radius property, which would be it's not reflecting. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, you see uh, these stuff are happening over here. So basically, you have to identify inspect element. And there are so many stuff. Play around with this once I upload the uh, source code. Uh, you, it would make more sense. This whole philosophy of Lightning is to uh, make component based development. When you make some changes to this component, you have to focus. Uh, initially what happened that when I was writing the code, I have a list of accounts. But inside that, we have one account card. So due to aura iteration, it gives control to account card each time. And after that, I can focus on this thing entirely. I don't have to focus on this entire app. How would I going? Uh, how I'm going to develop it? I have to focus on only this component itself. This is the beauty about component-based development. That's why I, I like it. And there are many other resources uh, in Salesforce. You have Lighting in you know different uh, technologies. There is something called React JS is also there, which is the uh, Facebook provided component-based de development and there are many other stuff like uh, Mozilla Fabric, I guess. So there are different stuff. So play around with this once I upload the source code. Get back to me and for any issues. I would be more than happy to help. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share these videos if you find it interesting. Let me know uh, how you, uh, if you have any feedback. I would definitely work on that. So with this, I end the video over here. If I come up with another scenario, if I develop more lighting apps, I will explain them. And I'm always happy to help you. Thank you for watching. Bye.